Hi, Sean. I'm going to try and explain if you, if I can, um, what I think your problem might be. This is an old style right hand side tensioner. Ignore the fact that it's the plastic old style. So this is what you've got bolted on that right hand side where you've got the slack actually on the top. And you can see here the top of the tensioner, albeit this is all plastic, yours is plastic on the top, it's metal, the rest of it, is actually an idler. There's no tensioning on the top of the right hand side tensioner, it's actually on the bottom. This bit of the chain, the chain comes over here around the cog underneath. So the chain slack is taken out by the piston at the bottom. The top is just, as I say, an idler. So if you've got slack here, you need to undo the uh, one of the, the cogs, I forget which one it is, and re-tension that bit of the chain, obviously with everything locked up. And then the slack should be pulled round to the bottom and this tension should pull it out. Obviously on the, the other side, the left-hand side, the tensioner is upside down. Actually, this is not a left-hand tensioner, but it sits like that. So the top where you've got no uh, problem with tension is actually the 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 slack end, if you would, the um, the piston end of the tensioner. The actual bottom is where the uh, you probably have some slack. As I say, it's upside down like this. So take a look at that. There might be slack on the bottom here. If if that's the same, then you probably have to. Um, retention the chain on that side I would have thought interesting when I looked at um, your photographs the the flats on the two cams the locking flats didn't look at the same position which might be again indication that the timing is slightly out anyway that's what my thoughts are at the minute um, hopefully that helps let us know